On expected lines, last night Samsung announced the new Galaxy Note 10 and like always, the Note line, the new Notes absolutely represent the pinnacle of Android hardware. And for the first time, we got two new Note phones. We got the Note 10 which has got a 6.3 inch screen and we got a Plus model which had a 6.8 inch screen. But overall, these phones are more or less iterative based on what Samsung has been doing with the Galaxy S10 series of phones. But there are some really interesting things that Samsung has done in these phones, which would be probably the reasons that anyone would want to upgrade from a Galaxy S line of phone or an old Note user. So let's jump into these. For the first time, there's choice with the Galaxy Note. You get a standard Galaxy Note 10, which has got a 6.3 inch screen with a punch hole selfie camera. And if you want a bigger model, then you get a 6.8 inch screen with the Galaxy Note 10 Plus. And obviously with these trade-offs, you also get a version which has got lesser battery life and one with more battery life. I'm not really sold on this strategy, but for sure there are going to be a lot of people who are going to now get the Note because either they can get a smaller phone or they can get a larger phone. Finally, Samsung has adopted fast charging. Now the Note 10 Plus gets 45 watt fast charging and the standard Note 10 gets 25 watt fast charging. There's more. If you're a wireless charging junkie, then the Note 10 Plus does 15 watt wireless charging, which is like basically the fastest that you can get. And the standard Note 10 is slightly slower at 12 watts. More so, these phones have got big batteries. The Note 10 Plus comes with a 4300 mAh battery, while the standard Note 10 comes with a 3400 mAh battery. For sure, the power bricks are not supplied, the ones that sort of give you the ability to reach these peak capacities of charge speeds but now that they support these speeds these phones become amongst the fastest charging smartphones out there that's great one of the interesting things that samsung has done with the note 10 plus is that it has added a time of flight sensor on the back now this time of flight sensor will allow you to take great portrait mode photos they will also enable a portrait mode for video which is going to look super cool but they have done some really cool augmented reality stuff. They showed this at the stage yesterday at their keynote. So the time of flight sensor can actually scan a real object and render it in 3D and you can even 3D print it. Now that is really unique and it's kind of wild. Now one of the reasons that anyone buys a Galaxy Note is because of the trusty S Pen. And like always, the S Pen gets a huge update. Air gestures have been amped up. Now you can literally control the camera using air gestures on the S Pen. So if you're a vlogger like me, then you can do everything on your own just with the Galaxy Note 10 and the trusty S Pen. More so, if you are into jotting down a lot of notes on your Galaxy Note screen using the S Pen, now Samsung uses machine learning and artificial intelligence to scan your handwriting and turn it into rich text, which is not only shareable, but also searchable on the phone. Now, that is really handy in a digital context. Now productivity is a huge play with Samsung's Galaxy Note devices. And this time around, they have announced a partnership with Microsoft. Now this partnership makes the Galaxy Note 10 the first phone to be supported by the Windows 10 My Phone application which essentially means all your messages are going to be passed on the My Phone app on Windows Phone on Windows, not Windows Phone, which is dead by the way uh, and you will be able to sort of reply to messages, send photos directly from your PC this is kind of similar to how you would have some kind of synchronization happening between Macs and iPhones. Now you can enjoy this on Windows PCs limited to the Galaxy Note 10. Later this year, they will also enable the ability for you to make calls directly from your Windows PC using the same app. And Microsoft has more integrations in the Galaxy Note 10. For instance, OneDrive, the cloud storage service is now fully integrated into the Gallery app and there are a bunch of other Microsoft apps preloaded on the Galaxy Note 10. But there's more. The Dex feature has been souped up this time around and now you can just directly connect over USB your Galaxy Note 10 to your Windows or Mac and you can have the entire phone interface in a PC-like format and literally use your phone as your main 
mode of working that's really cool